National Affairs Editor Chris Hall is with us again tonight. Chris, the Prime Minister's office finally this evening responded to the Duffy charges in the Senate. What did they say? A uh, very brief statement, uh, which we can show you, boils down to one line. There's nothing new here. There was but the one meeting. And that's it, says the line. This is the only time the prime minister discussed Mr. Duffy's expenses with him. But let's have a bit of context here, Peter. We've always been led to believe this was something of a pull aside after caucus. What it was was a more detailed meeting at which the prime minister gave his order to repay. That was carried out. And from that point on, from February 13th to May 15th, when the prime minister said he first read media reports uh, about the expenses being repaid by Nigel Duff, Duffy or Nigel Wright. We had nothing else to say. He was never asking any questions about it. There was nothing at all that transpired about this, trans, uh, this, this order he gave. Where are we on this story, Chris? Well, we have Duffy's version of events, and today he proved he's still a very good storyteller. He told about betrayal and intimidation. Uh, this motion that's been put forward to the Senate to suspend him without pay and two others probably seemed like a good idea for the, to the government at the time. Uh, clearly, it's having a bit of a backfire effect. That debate continues tomorrow, uh, but right now it seems that Mike Duffy has put a whole new uh, set of facts on the table for Canadians to digest. All right. Chris Hall in Ottawa. Thanks, Chris.